All right, guys, here we are. Welcome to SmackDown vs. Raw 2007. Always love this press start screen. It kind of has like SmackDown and Raw fusing together, kind of like a yin yang type thing. Uh, so here we go. So this is going to be fun. We're starting coverage of a new game here. So it's going to be like my other playthroughs where we kind of go really detailed in depth. So we'll start with the season mode playthroughs where we just play through normally. Uh, but first, let's select a storage device. I'm gonna save this to my memory unit so I can have an alternate save. It's gonna be a brand new save file. We're starting from scratch in the year 2023 on SVR07. Here we go. So we need a profile name. So just like the other games, I guess my choices are Alex, which is my real name, or just put Yum Boy. I'm just gonna put Alex, I think. Keep it simple. All right, we're saving brand new save data being generated. Here we go. Alright, so when you boot up the game, this is the first thing you get. Whoa, not so fast. There have been fundamental changes to the way SmackDown vs. Raw 2007 is played. So don't even think about stepping inside the ring without watching these helpful video tutorials. Uh, we're just going to tough it out. Uh, I will be just showing the tutorial videos and like bonus stuff. So just like my other playthroughs, there'll be like bonus stuff of like, you know, non-playable arenas, non-playable wrestlers. And then I'll throw like, tutorial videos in there. But here we go. So SmackDown vs. Raw 2007. So... Uh, with my playthroughs, I usually talk about like my memories of the game, experiences, and of course, I always encourage anyone that watches these videos to um, leave their memories, experiences, what they like, don't like about the game. Because I love reading that stuff, reading different opinions. Just <laughs> like I say, just keep it civil. If you don't like this game, that's fine. But if if you know you don't like it, someone else does. Don't freak out on the person. All right? Everyone's got their opinions. I love to hear them. Just keep it civil. <laughs> Alright, so SmackDown was 2007, so this came out November 14th, 2006. Um, so for me personally, I was still getting the games at Christmas at this time, so I did not get this game until Christmas of 2006. And I originally got the PS2 version. Now, uh, of course I wanted a 360 version, I didn't have the 360 at the time, but little did I know, uh, a month later after getting the game, unfortunately uh, I had a house fire as a kid, so basically my house burned down. And uh, there was basically like a period of like a month or so that I didn't know like is my stuff destroyed in the fire? Is it not? So I was just sitting there being all sad and stuff and my mom actually pulled a nice play for me She actually got me a 360 and SVR 07 actually the collector's edition from GameStop We got the got the tin right here knocking on it uh, comes in a nice little tin. There's a few things you got with it um, Yeah, so I don't really talk about too many personal things on here I kind of just try to talk about the game, but yeah as a kid that sucked going through that house fire um, so like I couldn't play the game, um, but then I got the 360 version and I was just playing this. So I actually, I have actually played the 360 version more than the PS2 version, but I had both versions at the same time because, uh, most of my stuff in that fire didn't get destroyed. I would say probably about, um, maybe like 80% of my stuff survived. So that's like all my wrestling collection figures, games and stuff. So that was good. Uh, and I will say this too, um... If you just want to get to the playthrough, I have the chapter set up where you can skip forward. Uh, I just kind of like to talk about this stuff. I know some people don't care what I have to say. That's fine. Uh, you can skip forward in the chapters, but... Yeah, so then I had the 360 and the PS2 version. Of course, going over to friend's house, I think I was like the only one of my group of friends that had the 360 version. <laughs> so this is where I mostly I started playing online wrestling games. Uh, like, at a much higher rate. So... Yeah, I don't really count the PSP stuff as online. This is like actually connecting to people around the world. So I had a lot of fun, a lot of memories here uh, playing this. Uh, so let's talk about the changes here. So I'm looking at the back of the box here. Let's read out some of the new features here. So the all new analog control system says it makes the gameplay more realistic and intuitive as ever. Um, so in my opinion, the analog control system, I like it. I think it flows pretty well. I think it makes sense. They got quick grapples. You know, you can go in your strong grapples with modifiers. Um, I think it works out quite well. Uh, but then, <laughs> uh, one of the features on here, it says the ultimate control moves. Now, my opinion on ultimate control moves, specifically for this game, I know they were tweaked a little bit in the later games, but I'm talking specifically for SVR07, I think they're absolutely gimmicky and terrible. And the reason for this is because, basically, if you initiate an ultimate control move in this game, you can hold it as long as you have stamina, and the person, the defender, cannot get out unless they use a finisher. That's right. Imagine wasting an entire finisher to get out of one ultimate control move. That is a waste. And the biggest problem with this was online, there was a glitch where you could hold the referee in an ultimate control move. And for some reason, like, your stamina just wouldn't go out. So people literally online would do the ultimate control, chokeslam, grapple on the ref, 
wait until you leave so they can beat the computer easily get a free win for leaderboards like imagine imagine acting like that online people care that much about leaderboards <laughs> But yeah, so ultimate control moves were not good. They were tweaked later in later games, and they were much more balanced, in my opinion. Now, when I say they're terrible, I think mechanically they're terrible. The animations themselves are fine. Uh, the environmental grapples, which actually is another feature on the back of this box here, are kind of like the ultimate control moves. I think those are fine. Uh, they were much more improved. There's some cool things you can do. I'll try to be uh, using most of those um, in the game to show you guys. Uh, what else we got here? So, the interactive fighting area in the crowd. This was my personal favorite new feature of the series. Uh, because it was just fun to be able to jump in the crowd and interact. Like, you can do stuff like grab signs, there's like tables, there's scaffolding. I'm sure everyone remembers you can climb up. A uh, lot of fun. Uh, now, I will say, a fun fact about the uh, crowd area is originally there was light tubes in the crowd, but they were changed before release, so... If anyone can release a prototype of this game, we would actually get to see the light tubes. Because uh, if you watch the tutorial videos, the light tubes are still there. Because those videos were recorded with an er earlier build. So who knows, maybe someday we'll get to use those light tubes. And then the last thing it says here is the next generation is there to be games this year. So uh, that's really a very accurate statement. So uh, we kind of moved into the next uh, cycle of game uh, systems here. So the Xbox 360, PS3. Now the PS3 version ended up being cancelled. <laughs> so it came out on 360, PS2, PSP. Um, yeah, so I honestly, I would say this game is the reason why I got a 360, because I feel like if it would have came out on PS3 as well, I would have asked my mom for the PS3 instead, because I was kind of, you know, on Sony stuff up until this point, but 360 was a great console, so I'm kind of glad that that's what I ended up getting. But yeah, here we go. So I guess those are kind of my opinions. Um... I don't know if I really gave an opinion over the game. I love this game. Uh, I think the graphics... Some people say that actually this is the best looking WWE game ever. I think that's a little... I don't know if I necessarily agree with that. Uh, I think it looks good for sure. Um, and like... Even on the like this 360 specific WWE games. This I think has the highest resolution textures and stuff. So... I guess there's something to that. But uh, So right now we're setting our difficulty in charge speed. We play on fastest and legend. Now when we go into season mode here... It actually asks for a difficulty option again, so. Uh, let's see, targeting indicators, auto. Stamina system on. Now, I, some people tell me, like, because I talk about how I'm not a fan of stamina, which is true, but I think it leads to funny moments, and uh, we're going to keep it on for that reason, pretty much. All right, so we'll go ahead and save. But yeah, I love this game. Uh, has a great roster. It really holds up. The soundtrack, of course, once again is good. <laughs> a lot of these songs I associate with this game. Still listen to them to this day. Great soundtrack. But I think it's time to go ahead and dive into season mode. So, if you watch the uh, intro here, uh, the Raw video play, because I'm going to be playing Raw first. I think the last game we started off on SmackDown. Alright, so here you go. New season mode. This is where I asked for difficulty. We're going to be playing on Legend. See if I get destroyed. I did play a few warm-up matches to get back in the groove with the uh, different controls. Now the question is, who am I playing as? So we're gonna be playing as a raw superstar. Now, of course, you know, I think I usually put the thumbnail of the person I'm playing as in here, so you probably already know who I'm playing as. But uh yeah, I decided to play as Edge. Now I believe, if I'm not mistaken, Edge starts off as the WB champion in this. Um it's overall 90 to take a look at the stats here, so. Hardcore rating's pretty high. Charisma is decent. A lot of eights in there. Uh, now the reason why I'm playing is Edge. Um, I don't know. So I talked about how. Um, okay, so I know a lot of people before I started this playthrough were like, okay, he's gonna play as Paul Burchill, right? Because he loves Paul Burchill. Well, unfortunately, guys, you cannot select Paul Burchill in season mode because he doesn't have any voice lines recorded. So we got scammed by Ukes and uh, THQ. So rip my man's Paul Burchill. There's probably a way I could hack him into play, but he wouldn't have any voice lines. And uh, my whole philosophy on the main playthroughs is like, I don't, I, it's vanilla. I don't do any modifications or anything. It's just regular. So we're going to play as Edge for Raw now. Uh, what's great about Edge in this game is, you know, great moveset, great overall. The spear animation's cool. Um, and this is with the first game we got the Radar Superstar tight, so that was nice to see. Um, and, you know, back then, of course, Edge, uh, solid wrestler, one of the all-time greats, no doubt about it. Um, so just talking about Edge here, you know, it was, it was great following Edge's career, and, like, he really, around this time, got, like, his bigger break. 
and like you know he got like into the main event status which is great uh, of course his money in the bank cash in legendary and then even fast forwarding to like when he got injured and had to retire and we thought that was it then he comes back to the royal rumble has another legendary run that's still going so edge definitely one of the all-time greats we're gonna select edge all right so here we go so this uh this is kind of like the stream we're gonna be seeing a lot here the difficulty we can kick back and relax in our locker room and we can save at any point and then just dive into the week so here we go edge Keeping it real, our first storyline here. Oh, there's a few more things I need to say, but I'll wait till after the cutscene. John, HBK, thanks for joining me. I've stepped in to look after Raw's best interests leading up to WrestleMania, and determining the number one contender for the WWE title is my top priority. Well, look no further, Steph. The champ is here <laughs> i've recently had some independent market research conducted to determine which raw superstar would be best for business as wwe champion by assigning every performer a superstar rating or s rating we can forecast hold on there princess you did market research to figure out who should be the number one contender whatever happened to deciding these things in the ring times change sean and raw has to change with them now, Sean, your S rating came back high, almost the highest in the company. But the S rating for Cena was off the chart. Based on the possible business Raw can do with a champion like Cena, I'm supporting John Cena as the number one contender for the WWE title. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> I spared no expense for this study. It's highly scientific. You see, the heartbreak kid's a little heartbroken that he's not the people's choice. How about you get into the ring with me tonight? And I'll prove that you've got nothing for me to be jealous of. Sounds good to me. And once you hear the chain gang when I pin your ass to the mat, you'll know why it's John Cena that's going to WrestleMania. All right, see you, John. <laughs> All right, so I will turn on the subtitles. I forgot about that. Great Kylie's yelling at me for not turning on the subtitles. I'm sorry, man. And what's cool about this version of the game is the loading screen split between two different renders. Uh, it does not do that in the PS2 and PSP version, so really cool. All right, so this is our locker room looking quite default. <laughs> Go to our season mode options here, so difficulty to legend, subtitles, email, attention, display a confirmation process when leaving messages in the locker room if they're unread email. I guess I'll put that on. Um, not really sure. Okay, so we got our old, uh, <laughs> old desktop computer at the CRT monitor. All right, so looking at your options here, so we have WWE Magazine, which talks about like storylines and stuff. I, it might only do that after like major events. Right now, it's grayed out; you can't select it. And then we can dive into our PC here. Heard a little click sound. So we're, we're heading over to WWE.com, guys. All right, so here we go. So this is actually what the WWE.com website used to look like <laughs> back then. So this is bringing back some memories here. Um, so I'll just go through all the options here. So we got our shop. So just like the previous games, we can buy, you know, Legends, Championship, Alternate Tires. Those diva loading screens. <laughs> Cannot get it till we get the No Mercy trophy, guys. And then, of course, just like 06 here, we can buy some stuff here. For our locker room, which we'll definitely be doing. But right now, we have no money. We're poor. Profile stats. We've also done nothing on this save, so. Then you also got your Superstar Bios. Again, I know I'm talking about a lot, and like I just need to get to the gameplay, but uh, I just want to show this stuff off. I'll have a uh, timestamp, so. so there's all your people here, and then we can save here as well. And then this is your kind of like your news site that talks about like what's going on in your storyline. So if I click on this, it's like a nice article here. Now I think I'm going to be, I think I'm going to be reading these during my playthrough. I don't know. I think some people might get annoyed if like cause some of these are long. Um. Or maybe I could just like do this, and then you could pause and read it. I, I don't know. It's ki it's kind of hard to say. Ah man, I don't know. According to a recent WWE.com poll, John Cena and Shawn Michaels are on a statistical dead heat for fan support for the WWE title challenge. These two superstars combined votes made up over 80% of the total votes cast. Far out distancing any other Raw superstar. You tell me. I don't know. Paul Bush is on SmackDown, I think. Never mind. 
To break the virtual tie, Stephanie McMahon rests the commission market research that assigns a superstar rating. Superstar points are back. Let's go. Or S rating for both contenders. The study was rumored to find Cena to be the most marketable superstar, prompting Stephanie to support Cena as a number one contender for the WWE title at WrestleMania. As Raw fans know, my family and I have always acted on behalf of the WWE fans and superstars, says Stephanie. What's good for business is good for all of us, and the research shows that John Cena is good for business. This is the craziest thing I've ever heard of, says Michael. <laughs> John Cena might be a great superstar, but he's still got a lot to prove in the ring against the heartbreak kid. And he can call me old-fashioned or old-school or whatever. But as far as I'm concerned, that means he's not a more legitimate contender than I am, no matter how many t-shirts he sells for the company. <laughs> Cena and Michaels are slated to face off tonight in Raw. A victory for Cena would likely cement his legitimacy for the WWE title opportunity at WrestleMania, while it is uncertain whether or not a loss would jeopardize it. Alright, so there you go. I, I guess I'll read them. You can leave your opinion. Maybe if I should just not read them, and, because maybe that will take too long, or read them all and just timestamp it so you can skip forward. Um... I don't know. I'll take con consider um, opinions under consideration, and then maybe like I'll at least pull them up. But here's our first email from Tori Wilson. Hi, it's Tori, of course. I just double checked on our reservations for tonight, and they're all set. So as soon as you're done with your match with Shelton Benjamin, we can head on over. When they heard the champ was coming, they reserved the best table in the house. I know it's only been a few days, but it seems like ages since the last time we could get away for a nice dinner, just the two of us. Anyway, speaking of your match, I'm still planning on coming to the ring with you, if that's okay. Oh, and I just heard that John Cena is going to challenge you for your WWE title, and I think that's great. But seeing the two of you in the same ring together, it might just be more than a girl can take. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so there you go. So I believe some of these have voiceovers like that. Some of them do not. That was our first email. All right, so I think it's time to... Uh... Okay, no, I guess we'll have to walk around. So this is our default locker room, so... Pretty cool you can actually move around freely unlike the last game where it was kind of like an on rails type thing but you'll see some familiar things like the trophy case the titles got no windows in here apparently over to this this is uh your loading screens all superstar bows are there as well so loading screens don't have all those unlocked yet challenge mode so this will be something we cover a little bit later uh, so Superstar Legend and then Unknown. What's the Unknown? Well, I think everyone by this point knows that. It's a pretty infamous, uh, challenge, but... So let's go to Events. Customize Attributes. So let's just leave here. Enough talking, it's time for some gameplay. Kurt Angle's ready, I'm ready. Also, that email did confirm I am the WWE Champion by default. So play, skip, multiplayer. So if we go multiplayer here, look at this cheese. I can play as somebody else. So that's definitely cheesy. Don't think I will be doing that. I mean, it, it could be fun to do some sort of like multiplayer season playthrough, like Parsec stuff, but this is just a regular playthrough, so. All right, so let's go ahead and get into our first match here. We're facing Shelton Benjamin. We got Tori Wilson in our corner here. Let's see how much SVR 07 Rust we got. Like I said, I did play a few warm-up matches. <laughs> so like um I can be totally lost out here. Hopefully I don't get like tunnel vision and try to show off too much stuff at once. Sometimes I do that. Between Shelton Benjamin and the WWE Champion. I'm sure Shelton wishes this could be for the title, but it sounds like John Cena is a shoe in for number one contender. That may be the case. But in my view, this is still a huge opportunity for Shelton Benjamin. He's in the ring with the WWE Champion, and I'm sure he'll make the most of it. All right, Shelton Benjamin, our first entrance we're watching here. Crowd's booing him, too. I'm going to a restaurant tonight with Tori Wilson. I'm going to order a T-bone steak just for Shelton. <laughs> I'm going to send him some scraps or something. Shelton sucks, I man. His entrance is still going, too. Alright, so here we go. WWE Champion. Edge. You're going to see his entrance for the first time. You think you know me. The crowd's cheering me for some reason. Can you imagine how much better Raw would be with John Cena as champion, JR? You heard about Stephanie McMahon's market research. He's got the highest S rating on Raw. 
And that's some insight. What do you think your S rating would be, JR? I know mine must be pretty high up there. Dean, you don't need S ratings or market research to know that Cena's a deserving WWE champion. He's been a WWE champion in the past, and he could be again given the opportunity. And it sounds as if he's going to get that opportunity at WrestleMania. All right, so you notice the championship belt centerpiece is spinning, so that's a feature in this game where you can hold down the right trigger to spin the title. <laughs> Pretty funny, it just, it'll just spin, like, on its own. Motorized, I guess. All right, I don't see Tori anywhere. She has <laughs> to get... Oh, there she is. <laughs> I guess Tori's the new Edge. Or, Edge. <laughs> Tori's the new Lita. What am I talking about? <laughs> All right, here we go. First match. The Great Kali. I guess now the real question is, who am I going to be playing for the SmackDown side? Make your predictions now. Remember my rule, I try not to play as the same person twice for the, the yearly Uke series. Here we go, here is a uh, quick breakdown of our uh, basic controls here. Also in this game, we get these nice little pre-match animations, so these are pretty cool. Here we go. New analog control, brother. First move gets reversed. <laughs> All right, come on, Edge. Big reversal. Club him down, brother. Okay. Okay, so this is the all-new chain uh, reversal system here, by the way. Still going. <laughs> right, I got the win. By the way, uh, it is kind of easy to reverse those uh, chain things, so you'll probably see me reversing those a lot. Very easy to pull off. So what's great about this game's legend is it's still pretty challenging, but it's not like 06 where like they um, Like I won't be able to do any strong grapples. I will be able to I mean they'll still reverse don't get me wrong And it's still gonna be a challenge, but it's not gonna be like oh, I can't do strong grapples <laughs> Alright, is it time for our first environmental grapple? I think it is. Alright, here's a cool one So if you drag them towards the ring post here even though, even though the crowd's cheering me, I'm going to do this. My God. And I like this one because you can get a nice taunt while they're still selling. So that's a pretty high tier one. And then I can come in here, do a strong grapple. And it gets reversed. Never mind. <laughs> My fake combos. Big chop. How about another one, brother? Oh, <laughs> the chain reversals. <laughs> We're still going. You know, I'm going to hit him with an ultimate control move, brother. It's time to control the moves. What does he think he's doing? There you go. See my fake combos, guys? Ultimate Opportunist, the Master Manipulator, the Rated R Superstar Edge. But I will say, um... Oh, he, like, delayed that one. All right. Edge clothesline. I love that move. Getting wheel kick. Um, what was I going to say? I will say, um, to me, the reversal damage is a little wild in this game. It's more apparent, in my opinion, if you're playing as, like... Someone with the high overall difference where like I mean we'll, we'll probably see examples of that, but it's kind of annoying. I think the reversal damage is a little too much sometimes. So I'm playing his edge. So uh I feel like growing up, um I don't know if your guys' experience, but my personal experience like growing up is um like when I first got into school like kindergarten days like wrestling was super popular and I it felt like as I got older wrestling became less and less popular so <laughs> I, th I feel like by the time I got to high school like my circle of friends or people that I knew that actually still liked wrestling was really small but um there was one friend that was kind of like me and like we always liked wrestling and his favorite wrestler was Edge so <laughs> it's kind of nice to play as him but yeah like I by the time of high school there was barely any people that still liked wrestling <laughs> Like, I'd bring it up and people would be like, you still watch that? <laughs> so, yeah, I do. Alright, so we're doing quite well in our first match here. WWE Champion coming out strong. Time to ignore the rope break! I'm gonna let go here. Might be able to hit a spear and take it home here. Get some stamina back. Haven't even needed... How about one more environmental grapple? This is a pretty infamous one here. In my opinion, it's a little overpowered too, so I'm not going to be doing these too much, but... Okay, so you see in this... I could keep doing this and like uh, not expend or expend all my stamina. It does pretty wild damage in my opinion. 
course, in the later games, they did adjust it much better, so... But as of right now, the uh, environmental grapples and ultimate controllers are a little annoying. So I probably won't be using them too much. I do like to show off things about the game, so... I shouldn't show off too much at once, though, because I remember there was one time where, like... Um, <laughs> there was one play... I forgot which game it was, but one play through, like... Because I like to talk about, like, tactics you can use to, like, cheese and stuff. So, like, I demonstrate them, right? I don't abuse them. I just demonstrate them once. And some guy left me a really long comment, like, How dare you cheat to play through? Like, what's the point of you playing on max difficulty to cheat? Like, <laughs> it's like, alright, calm down, man. <laughs> just demonstrating. I didn't do that the entire playthrough. But here we go. Spear! Spear! Alright, so this animation is really cool. So if I let it go here, there's, like, an animation afterwards. Camera works pretty nice too, as you can see, like it zooms in. This animation is cancelable towards the end too, but... Alright, so I think that was, a. Uh, this should be it here. Alright, first match, WWE Champion Edge gets the win here. I had no body damage too, wow. But the question is, what is my S rating? I need to know. Stephanie said it was scientific-based algorithms or whatever. <laughs> That's not what she said, but you know. You think you know. Edge gets the win. Time to go to dinner. What do you want, Tori? <laughs> Get that T-bone steak for show. <laughs> and Tori Wilson. She won too, apparently. Lee is probably pissed backstage. This is, a, this is an alternate timeline where Tori... <laughs> Tori went with Edge. Rated R Tori. go all right so yep whenever i play my playthroughs here i have the game sitting next to me also the strategy guide in case i need to look anything up the 07 strategy guide is pretty cool because it does list every uh storyline in the game and how to get them so that'll be a nice reference for my bonus stuff but uh let's check our messages all right so this is from stephanie but as you can see there's no voiceover so from stephanie mcmahon edge i wanted to clear up some confusion regarding the number one contender situation yes hbk beat john cena in their match last week but that has no bearing on my decision to continue to support John as the number one contender for your WWE Championship. Research doesn't lie. <laughs> and we shouldn't pass up the opportunity to feature John in the title picture of the biggest sports entertainment match of the year. And speaking of John, I'm putting you and Tori Wilson in a mixed tag match tonight against uh, Cena and Nikki James. And if I were you, I'd keep an eye on Tori. John's a very charismatic man. He's quite the charmer. From Stephanie. Go on the computer here. Alright, so we have the WB.com article. Despite the fact that Shawn Michaels defeated John Cena in their match last week on Raw, Cena is still considered to be the number one contender for the WWE title at WrestleMania. And that's something that's raised the uh, ire of the showstopper. Look, I understand this is a business, says HBK, but the simple fact of the matter is, John Cena is not the most qualified for the WWE Championship. I beat him last week in front of the entire world, and I have no idea how Steph can continue to consider him the top-ranked guy here on Raw. I don't know if she's more in love with her mysterious S ratings or just or the idea that is seen as WWE Champion. But if you ask me, it seems like WrestleMania title match is just a formality. Stephanie McMahon acknowledged Michael's position and says it does not affect her decision. Sean is currently entitled to his opinion, she says. But the bottom line is I stepped in to represent Raw's best interests. Right now, according to all of our market research, Raw puts its best foot forward with John Cena. I still consider HBK to be a main event level superstar, which is why he and Edge will team up next week to take on John Cena and Shelton Benjamin in a tag match. All right, there you go. So again, I'm for this video, I'm going to be reading them. Um, it, it depends how many of these I... Uh, um, record at once but uh, give your opinion if i shouldn't read those i will at the very least i will be putting um i guess chapters so you can skip those but here we go so edge and tori wilson versus john cena and mickey james question in everyone's mind where is lita ladies and gentlemen <laughs>
And speaking of revealing, take a look at Tori Wilson. As much as I was looking forward to seeing the champion and the challenger lockup, I'm not sure I'll be able to tear my eyes off her. This is rated R, Tori, apparently. <laughs> but we're being cheered. I'm the good guy here. It's kind of weird seeing Edge in this position, but... Oh, well. It's Edge. I feel like I just hold down the trigger most of the time, like... <laughs> like just to see it constantly spin. <laughs> The question is, will Cena and Mickey come out together or are they gonna have separate entrances? It's John Cena! Traditionally, it's the WWE champion who enters last out of respect for the title. But tonight, it seems that John Cena is receiving that honor. Oh, there you go again with your conspiracy theories, JR. Next thing you know, you're gonna start accusing Cena of getting special treatment. Just like that cry baby Shawn Michaels has been doing. I'm not accusing anyone of anything, King. I was just making an observation. I'm sure everyone in this arena can draw their own conclusion. Still, it surely is a little hard. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, so um, speaking of these storylines here, I feel like most of them I do remember. And one thing to talk about here is I know people have probably pointed out already. Uh, by playing as Edge, there's a certain storyline I will not be getting because Edge is a uh, part of that storyline. It's probably the most infamous storyline in the game. But just remember, um, whenever I do these playthroughs, I do end up covering every storyline in alternate videos and stuff. So don't worry, I will be playing that one. Probably my favorite storyline. And uh, I feel like I do remember most of the storylines in this. Probably There's probably like details I'm forgetting, but I will try not to spoil anything um, if maybe you're watching this for the first time or if you're like me and like you forget some details. So, but yeah, I do remember this one a lot, actually. Ooh, open up the reversal. How about a strong grapple? No, Cena. Cena not having any yet. Tori wants in. <laughs> This is before the official mixed tag match is out of the game, so like, no cheesy DQs here. I can have Tori come in right now and face Cena if I want to. For the ultimate challenge, Legend Difficulty. <laughs> oh god! Edge brother. Yep, cinch it in! Alright, Tori, get out! Tori, get out! Oh, we got Psycho Stalker, Mickey. Oh, stop! <laughs> stop! <laughs> Strong grapple. Nope. <laughs> well, there's so many pink signs in the crowd. What on earth? Or is that just the lighting? This match has the potential to be an instant classic. But I think these fans right, are we are really zoomed out right now. Can you guys get on the apron? <laughs> Running DDT. Need stamina though. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get a finisher and actually I'm gonna tag in Tori and be a psycho here. I'm gonna be like Mickey a psycho. Right, some double team maneuvers. Okay, nope. That reverses back. I got it too. Yep. There we go. What do we got here? <laughs> Alright, so this is a... Oh wait, no, I'm only playing his edge. Let's give me the computer. That was a bad idea. No, I'll let them... I'll let them fight a bit, I guess. I'm resting up here. Kyoto, get Cena out of the ring here. Get some control, brother. That was a weird sequence. Alright, Cena, get out! Get out! Kyoto, get him out of here! Do your job, get him out! I don't care what the marketing research says. Get him out. <laughs> I don't care how many t-shirts he's moving. And then just like with my uh, season playthroughs, one whole video will be the entire like uh, season um, like storyline. So one storyline, the video ends. Oh, am I coming back in? It's going to be cheesy if I am. Okay, no. Right, there you go, Tori. Rated R Tori here. Oh, it's the cat fight animation. <laughs> Where's Joey Styles? When you need him. Look at how long the animation was. And we have a finisher too, so. Not gonna lie, I kinda just wanna tag back in, but I was kinda hoping I'd be able to play as both of them. Actually, if I would have selected the multiplayer option, would have have given me the option to play as both of them. Like, you know how in Exhibition you can choose either you control both or just one in the tag match? I don't know. Oh, come on, JR. Why would you want to lower the 
tone of the raw locker room by bringing in some losers from SmackDown. I don't know. A multiplayer season would be fun. I'm definitely uh, interested in that idea. If we get four people on Parsec, this game does uh, it does emulate pretty decently. It does have random crashes, but this game does, uh, as of right now, emulate pretty decently. Or we could do the PS2 version as well. Environmental grapples. I'm grinding. I'm grinding. All right, I'm gonna stop. Oh, Mickey has a, a red uh, torso already. All right, Tori, stop. Actually, if Tori uh, uses her finisher, I could play defense for her. So this might actually be the better play here. Yo, Tori's going crazy, dude. Rated our Tori. <laughs> Oh, she's going for the cheesy pin. Oh my god. Now I'm the blockhead. Oi! <laughs> I shouldn't have done it. I should have done a quick grapple there, not a strong grapple. Or a strike probably would have been smarter, actually. Okay, why? <laughs> That was the worst play I've ever done in my life. Actually, what targeting am I playing on? Targeting indicate. I can't. Don't think I can change targeting. Whatever the default is. I seem to stop. So I thought it was a uh, select or back button on 360 to change uh, focus, but I might be playing on auto targeting. Dude, Tori's going crazy. Oh, no. <laughs> not anymore. Yeah, I think I'm on auto-targeting, which I... Not, I don't know. I thought you could still change, though, with the back one. It might be time just to tag back in. I don't know. I don't know if I really trust the computer to play defense, though. I could call him in, but, you know. Nah, I just tagged me in. He's tagging the Cena. There we go. Right, get off me. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna go for it. Spear! Spear! Alright, I need some defense, Tori. I mean, Mickey's gonna be super slow, though, because she's injured. Alright, I'm gonna cancel the animation. Let's see. Yeah, she's so slow. Edge and Tori get the win. I don't care what the marketing research says. I'm the champ, brother. I'm on HBK side here, man. Big Troy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Just picking her up. Hit the spear now. Something you don't see every day. The champ is here. Am I right, fellas? An enthusiastic response from this capacity crowd. Mickey just left, I guess. Give to be John Cena's shoulder right now. All right, King, that's enough. <laughs> Hit the spear, please. I'm begging you. <laughs> oh, yo, I was just playing. Seriously, no disrespect intended. Well, it seems that the WWE Champion doesn't share Cena's sense of humor. And quite frankly, I can't say I blame him. If I were him, I'm not sure I would either. All right, interesting development. Stephanie's message kind of uh, was true, actually, what she warned about. <laughs> I mean, Tori just looked confused. <laughs> well, that WWE Championship Walmart edition, super small. Let's right, check our phone. It's John Cena. Yo, champ. It's Cena. Look, seriously, I was just goofing around out there, man. It was all about having some fun. I know you and Tori are tight. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry if I crossed the line. Yo, call me back so we can smooth this over, all right? 100. <laughs> He's just goofing around. All right, so this is one of the messages where you can actually interact with. So if I press A to select, I can actually choose a response here. So if you choose to forgive John Cena for the stunt he pulled earlier tonight, yeah, I probably did overreact a little out there. I'll call Cena back, let him know everything's cool with us. At least until our WWE Championship match. 
I'm not about to let John Cena disrespect me like that in my ring. Not only, not only I gotta call him back, I'm gonna be waiting for him in the parking lot next week. Alright, so, uh, what do I wanna do here? Honestly, like, I didn't even feel like I overreacted out there. I, I just stood around and looked confused, but also, I kinda wanna see a parking lot brawl already, so... I'm gonna be waiting for you in the parking lot, my man. So I'm gonna go back here. So rather than going to the door, you can go back and it should put you back at this menu here. So that's another way to get out. So if you want that immersion, you can exit through the locker room door or you can go back. <laughs> but you could also do that in 06, I believe, so. All right, so making my promise here. I'm waiting for him in the parking lot here. So a parking lot brawl in this game is quite fun. I got a snap jab, is what I like to see. Okay. Yep. Strong Irish whip. All right, here we go. So this animation is really cool here. Slam on the hearse. It's the boogeyman. <laughs> Look at his face. Let me get him out of here. All right, so a lot of cool stuff you can do here. I feel like I might lose from trying to show off all of it. Especially because Cena is a pretty high overall, but... So we got this one here. This one's pretty disgusting, actually. <laughs> Alright, grab the hose. Oh my god! <laughs> Those effects. Yeah, central sewage. <laughs> that can't be, uh, sanitary. Right, we're just, as this is we get, man, for disrespecting me on Raw, brother. I don't care what the market research says! Oh! So I gotta finish this. There are actually, I believe, two parking lot specific finishers you can do in this game. I want to—it's two for sure. Maybe I'm misremembering. It's three, but I want to say it's two. So I believe it's with the fire truck and the garbage uh, truck. I thought actually the control panel, because there's a way to extend the uh, the ladder up there. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I'm yellow. First body damage, I think. Oh no, stop. Okay, that was that was a goofy move by the AI. <laughs> I think he was trying to drag me into something, but we were way too far away. Stamina's low here. Yeah, I'm pressing all the buttons and gauges. There we go. Stendo boy right there. I guess the question is do I want to use that or the garbage uh, truck finisher? <laughs> You can also climb up there and do aerial moves, but if you miss, you're taking mega damage, brother. Alright, we got trash. We got trash and sewage. <laughs> we need Duke the Dumpster in this game as DLC. <laughs> That's right, DLC in 2023. It's coming out. Confirmed. This thing is a reversal machine. Am I actually going to have a challenge in the title match? He's going to be distracted by Rated R Tori. <laughs> Okay, Cena's regaining stamina. I'm kind of, kind of out here. The limo over there. I'm trying to do the garbage truck thing though. There we go. So I think you need two finishers, just like an 06 to do a parking lot finisher. So I think we're gonna go for that. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Strong Irish whip. Oh wait, he reversed. Oh god, no! Oh no! <laughs> this can do a lot. Oh my god, edge into the glass. Where's Stone Cold? The lighting effects look really cool. If you look at that spotlight, you can actually see like the light uh, moving. It's really cool. All right, that's it. All right, we're gonna do the garbage truck one, I guess. All right, get him in there. This is a revenge for what you did to Bischoff. <laughs> get him in there. All right, close it up, please. Duke the dumpster's in there. He's in the truck. All right, take him away. <laughs> John Cena's going to the landfill. All right, see you, dude. <laughs> He's gone. He's not showing up on Raw. I right, just kidnapped John Cena. <laughs> Stephanie's going to be quite upset, man. Does his market value go down from that or what? <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> John Cena's gone. That should be on WWE.com. John Cena kidnapped by Duke the Dumpster. Honestly, I think the fire truck uh, animation's cooler, but that one's just funnier. 
Alright, here we go. Edge unapologetic for ambush. WWE Champion Edge was scheduled to meet his number one contender John Cena tag match tonight on Raw, also featuring HBK and Shelton Benjamin. However, Edge took the match schedule into his own hands when he surprised Cena in the parking lot and began an impromptu brawl. I don't see what the big deal is, says Edge. <laughs> it's not like this was an assault. Yeah, it was kidnapping. There was a referee. Cena and I were already scheduled for a match. I just decided to change it up a little. And if Cena's as street as he says he is, he shouldn't have a problem with it. I mean, we kidnapped him, but all right. When contacted for a comment by WWE.com, Cena refused to take the bait offered by Edge. If that's the way he wants to play it, that's cool. But I was kind of hoping to keep this legit for his sake. I think that's the first time someone ever tried to jump John Cena in the parking lot or anywhere else. Well, well the champ is still here. And what that's about to say about Edge's chances of taking me out before WrestleMania, I'd say there ain't no chance of that happening. Rod's authority, Stephanie McMahon, was reportedly outraged by Edge's actions against John Cena. Inside sources indicate that she is strongly considering taking some sort of dis uh, disciplinary action against him. Oh no. <laughs> I'm in trouble, guys. I mean, I kidnapped John Cena, so, you know. <laughs> Shawn Michaels, alright. You know, I can't blame you for wanting to get a piece of Cena. Matter of fact, it's all I can do to bite my tongue around him these days. But you should have saved it for the tag match we had scheduled for tonight. You cost me the chance to prove once again that I'm the legitimate number one contender around here. Can't say I'm exactly thrilled about that. Later. All right, see you, man. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> Are you really so jealous of John Cena that you had to go and attack him in a parking lot? Or is it true what they're saying about you? That you're threatened by him? And that you're afraid he's going to take away all the things that matter most to you? Whatever your problem is, I don't want any part of it. I thought I knew what kind of a man you were, but now I'm not so sure at all. Alright, good. Get out of here. Bring in Lita. <laughs> I'm the rated R superstar. I don't want the fan to me. the master manipulator, the ultimate opportunist. Waiting in the parking lot. It's not about, remember guys, it's not being about stronger, faster. It's about being smarter. You got to outsmart your opponents. Got to seize the opportunity. That's what Edge taught me, all right? And that's exactly what I did. I kidnapped John Cena. <laughs> hey, Steph, you got a minute? I just heard that you're giving Cena a WWE title match next week on Raw. That's got to be a joke, right? Sean, if you could get past your petty jealousy, you'd realize that having John Cena as the WWE champion going into WrestleMania would be even better for Raw than having him as the challenger. Now, if you'll excuse me. Look, what on earth do I have to do to convince you that the heartbreak kid deserves that shot? Sean, we've been through this. John Cena is just about the perfect man. For Raw's future success, I mean. Why, Miss McMahon, I do believe you've got just a tiny little crush on John Cena. Don't be ridiculous. What's wrong with this stupid door? <laughs> no, it, it's just stuck or something. Oh, uh, hey. hey I Steph. knew it. We, we were just, uh... I know what you were just. Do you think this is conduct becoming of a WWE champion? What? What are you talking about? Get the garbage truck you back here. what? Maybe you should get that title match next week, Sean. Whoa. Hold on a minute. You can leave now, John, and take your little toy with you <laughs> unbelievable <laughs> it's something you can't see me as he walks out stephanie's outrage all right listen guys i made the right choice here all right i'm getting i'm calling up duke the dumpster right now we're gonna get him again <laughs> i don't know who let him out of the landfill man So we're back here. Let's check our messages. Hey, it's Tori. Hey, it's me. And if you're expecting an apology for what happened between me and John, you can forget it. I only went to him to apologize for what you did last week, and one thing led to another. So really, it's your fault that it happened. What? And let me tell you something. It's going to keep on happening. I've got no regrets, and John is exactly the kind of man I've been looking for. He's sweet, he's kind, he's funny, and he makes time for me, unlike you. Don't bother calling back. I won't answer. Damn. Alright, anyone got Lita's number? <laughs> Alright, from Stephanie to Edge. 
Edge, I was hoping you didn't have any issues with me replacing John Cena with Shawn Michaels for the number one contender as your for your WWE Championship. Considering what happened between Cena and Toya earlier tonight, I'm guessing that you don't. I'm also guessing that you've got some unfinished business with that idiot John Cena. <laughs> so tonight, you and HBK will face him in a non-title triple threat match. And between you and me, I hope you teach John Cena a lesson for both of us. Alright, what does WWE.com have to say about this spicy affair between Cena and Tori Wilson? <laughs> Cena out, HBK is in. And, only, and what can only be described as a sudden and dramatic turn of events, Stephanie McMahon has withdrawn her support for John Cena as an immortal contender. Instead, McMahon has announced that she is now backing HBK instead. At face value, this would seem like a complete redirection from Steph. Uh, and contrary to the results of her market research, uh, she is so highly touted just a few weeks ago. Tonight, John Cena showed the world that he lacks the moral fiber necessary to represent Raw as a WWE Champion, says Stephanie. He said, my personal support for the last few weeks, but if he wants to carry on with a tramp like Tory in my own office, then he can make his own title opportunities. I have no idea why Stephanie's tripping right now, says Cena. <laughs> Look, I know it ain't exactly cool that she found me and Tori in her office, but Tori told me she was going to be breaking things off with Edge, so there's no harm, no foul, right? And anyway, what's my personal life got to do with being WWE Champion? It's not like I broke any laws or anything. I don't get why Stephanie's overreacting like this. So as it stands now, Shawn Michaels will replace Cena and meet Edge next week on Raw for the WWE Championship. It's expected to be the last WWE title match before WrestleMania, meaning that the winner of this bout is virtually guaranteed a WrestleMania main event match. Alright, I don't know. I'll definitely still listen to opinions, but I like reading those because there's funny stuff in there and like, it just gives more like depth, you know, to uh, what we got going on here. I don't know. I'll, I'll definitely put timestamps though, because I could definitely see how like the viewer watching this be like, oh my god, stop reading, just get on with the gameplay. You know, I get it. So I'll put timestamps, I guess. I'll do like week one, week one article maybe. I don't know. We'll see how I do it. But here we go. Triple threat match. So far we're undefeated as Edge here. We lost Tori Wilson, but you know what? I'm fine with this. <laughs> it's not bothering me one bit. Crowd's booing Cena, man. right back down at the bottom of the heat that's what playing with a woman's emotions will get you what in the hell are you talking about <laughs> oh, come on jr you saw stephanie's reaction to cena and tori i think she had a crush on john cena and now he's gone from the penthouse to the dog well far be it for me to second guess the motives of a mcmahon king i've learned that lesson the hard way damn cena should have played into that man just like in the future when edge uh <laughs> Uh, is with Vicky just so he can get title matches and stuff. <laughs> By the way, you see like the subtitles glitch, like the they like stack two of them on top of each other at a certain point. That was weird. Like Colgate. It's John Cena. Of course, John Cena got interviewed for WWE.com claiming that Stephanie was quote tripping. Doesn't understand why, doesn't think he did anything wrong, but you know what? I'm WWE Champion and I got Duke the Dumpster on speed dial. I'm gonna call him up. We're gonna get, we're gonna get rid of him. We we'll get to see Shawn Michaels' entrance. I'll probably skip Edge's entrance because we've seen it like two or three times already. <laughs> true. It's all true. But what does the market research say? Wow, that's loud. <laughs> you see me walk. At least his entrance gear didn't get stuck in the ramp. That was so funny when that happened in real life. Like, he couldn't get it out, so he ended up just taking it off. That was so good. <laughs> Heartbreak kid. 
Like I said earlier, I talked about how some people say this is the best looking WWE game of all time. I do like the colors. I think like for some reason, like the color, like I don't know how to explain it. Like it just looks nice, you know, like the arenas look great. I would say it's probably the best looking of the 360 era. But some models, though, I think some people need to understand, like, some of the models in this game of the wrestlers aren't good. Like, look at Carlito's model in this and compare it to, like, you know, SVR 08 Carlito. Like, this game, it looks so weird. Like, there's a lot of people like that, actually. I think even Bret Hart in this game, I don't like his face. It looks bad. It looks better in the PS2 version, actually. Exactly. True. He, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Okay. So if DQs are off, and this this will be a good opportunity to demonstrate the brand new crowd fighting area. I mean, I could still go in there, but if DQs are on. Like some games are weird. Like there shouldn't be DQs and triple threat, right? But sometimes they are on. I didn't. I didn't pay attention to the screen. I think I'll be able to pause and check though. I said I was going to skip this, but oh, yeah, I'll, I'll skip it. <laughs> Alright, Chav was looking over us. Yo, rip rated R Tori. Didn't last long, guys, but you know what? I'm fine with this. <laughs> I did the right thing by attacking John Cena, alright? Here we go, Pittsburgh, triple threat animation. The side of tonight's live raw event. And Pittsburgh has gone completely crazy for the Pittsburgh, brother. Can... Let's see, uh, match rules. DQ is on. Rip, but count out's off. I can at least go in the crowd to show you some things, but I won't be able to use weapons like I can DQ. Oh my god, I can't believe this man. Steals Tori. <laughs> Whoa, blows me. Tried the edge close I was too slow though. <laughs> right, how about some quick grapples? I haven't been doing too many quick grapples yet. Okay, yeah, the back button does change targets. I was right. For some reason, it, like, it wasn't working right in that uh, tag match. But there, I do have auto targeting on, it seems. Maybe I'll change that. I don't know. I kind of go back and forth whether or not I prefer auto or manual. I like, there were some games that had something called like semi auto. I kind of like that. Like, I, I guess this technically kind of is semi auto if I can still change, but... How about a strong Irish whip? So, JR, are you enjoying the match so far? Alright, see ya. Oh no! <laughs> I'll take over the crowd. He's wasting my stamina. Those are advanced tactics. Oh, I'm first point damage here. That's not good. HBK going crazy. Maybe he really is the true number one contender. Maybe the market research really doesn't matter. Yep. Wow, that elbow smash is quick. Yep. Alright, I'm a face, so that gave me a lot of momentum. Cross face. Alright, so the crowd area. There's two ways to get in. You can manually jump over with the A button, or you could do you could throw him in the corner and do this cool clothesline animation. Alright, and that John Cena strike is so easy to avoid. Alright, so there you guys, you can close line in. Oh god, we're all three here. Alright, we don't want to use weapons here, so there's a lot of cool things. You can grab all this stuff. And clear off this trash! <laughs> Cena's familiar with trash, and I threw him in that trash. Uh, uh, garbage truck. But I'd have to get my head out of my rear end first and lower but Yeah, uh, so like right where I'm standing here, there originally was light tubes here, but not in the final build, unfortunately. Removed. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you'll see fans like pull out like signs and weapons you can grab. Oh, fake double team moves. Let's go. <laughs> Is it time for an environmental grapple, guys? Environmental grapple! <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, so environmental grapples are cool, but like I said, uh, they're kind of annoying this game, how, like, you can't, they're kind of, well, you can't really get out of most of them easily without, like, wasting stuff. Oh, 
Going for double team maneuver, but all right. Leg drop, brother. Look at him feeding off the energy from this capacity. Okay. We got some free taunts in here. I'm yelling at him for stealing Tori. No, nah, actually, I don't care. I'm glad he did that. <laughs> we need Lita. <laughs> we need to turn heel and get Lita. That's what I want. But a strong grapple. Nope. <laughs> Try again. Yep, neck breaker, brother. Get the garbage truck. Oh, he's got the snap jab. <laughs> yeah, I want, I want a corner grapple here. About a rope down grapple. Oh, is it the cheesy kick where they flip over? I always thought that move was so goofy for some reason. All right, how about execution? Oh. Oh, can I steal one here, you think? That's probably gonna be a rope break. I should have dragged him. Yep. Mistakes are made. Also, I'm low on stamina here. Oh, reversal machine right now, though. Let's go. Okay, I need to stop doing this headlock move. <laughs> I've done that way too much. Yep, fake spear. Okay, let's get an opportunity to get stamina back. All right, go ahead and control the moves, brother. Fake edit or fake F you. <laughs> The fake you. <laughs> you ever think you'd be watching these superstars compete against each other here tonight, JR? I had a feeling their paths were gonna cross sooner or later. Thanks, that actually hit. I'm glad I'm here to see. Me too. It almost makes it worth having to sit and go for it. No, oh, you're reverse the execution. Rip. What the heck is a government mule anyway? John Grapple. There we go. Wrench it, brother. Oh, he caught me in the fall. That was big. Enough! I wanted to get two finishers and hit both of them and go for the win, but... I'm a strong grapple, though. Yeah, gut buster, brother! Yeah! Got my two finishers. I'm stuck in this animation, though. Oh, no. Cena's doing Cena things. I gotta hurry up for this finisher expires. <laughs> There we go, I stole it. Oh no. Oh my god, Cena might be an alternate opportunist here. Oh my god, I'm so slow. I'm so slow. Cover! I was gonna go for the spear, but I was gonna go for the fin. Edge gets the win. Cena's out. Hope Tori was watching that. What that man gets, all right? HBK was right the whole time. And so was I. <laughs> and the marketing research was wrong. You think you know it. We have to watch the Edge win animation too. This is unique to Edge. Here's your winner. Edge. Edge. Really would have liked to pin Cena, but you know, take what we can get here. What's the marketing research say now, my man? <laughs> Get him out of here! Actually, did Cena's marketing, uh... Or did his S points or whatever go up or down after that Tory incident? <laughs> I mean, Eric Bisch Bischoff says controversy creates cash, guys. So maybe his uh, market value actually went up after that. I don't know. All right, so WB Magazine's now open, so we can take a look at that. So this is pretty cool. It's like the article, but it has like <laughs> has like pictures. So back to basics. Oh, it's gonna be a long one. Taking it back to the streets, losing the number one contender spot for the WWE title, as well as almost an assured main event match at WrestleMania, has taken its toll on John Cena. Gone, it seems, is the flippant, cocky superstar replaced by a much more serious and intense man who's going back to his street roots in an effort to figure out what went wrong. I think the problem is I let other people decide who John Cena was going to be, he says. I went down a road where people's opinions of me mattered more than what I accomplished. Get the crowd to the... Get, I accomplished get the crowd to cheer. Wait, what? Get the girl to fall for me and get management to give me the opportunities. 
Well, as now, that's over. A lot of these fans and these guys in the locker room forget that I'm not like them. <laughs> I never really was. I'm from the streets, and that's what I'm going back to. A lot of people might uh, not like it, but that ain't my problem anymore. From now on, John Cena looks out for John Cena. Real recognizes real. Cena keeping it real. It's like the storyline says. Well, if he wants to go back to the streets, I got the, the garbage truck ready to go and take him back. <laughs> Check our messages. What do we got? John Michaels. Hey, Edge, I'm glad the WWE title match rightfully came down to the two of us tonight. I don't think it's any secret that I fully believe I earned this match. I also want to make sure that you know that I'm glad to challenge a champion of your caliber. I'm going to give you all I got, and all I expect from you is the same. See you in the ring. Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. Alright. Got my Gatorade here. If I'm going to be reading all that stuff, I'm going to need water and Gatorade every now and then. Alright, so here we go. Raw, Shawn Michaels. Edge. We'll watch the entrances here. You know, I know we've seen them, but this is a big match, so we'll watch them. And with always, we always hear the commentator thing, so I won't skip until after the commentators if I am gonna skip, but you know, this is a big match, we'll watch it. The heartbreak kid. John Cena's back on the streets right now. <laughs> if he's on the streets and sees a garbage truck, he's probably scared. <laughs> Stoop the dumpster can run him over. They see me walk. Did Tori also go back to the streets with him? <laughs> And what does Stephanie have to say about all this? We need some interviews here. And what is my S rating? I need to know, man. <laughs> Superstar points are back. <laughs> Old HBK. He's off the merchandise. <laughs> I remember there was this one, I think it was like a Raw in like Japan or something, and like uh, the crowd was like clapping to the beat of the song. It was legendary. It was one of the coolest Shawn Michaels entrances ever. Obviously like the WrestleMania 12 one probably the most iconic, you but that one in like Japan or whatever it was was cool. John Cena. Damn. By the way, compare the JR uh, voiceovers to this to Fight Forever. He <laughs> phones it in so much in Fight Forever. So far, the voice acting from all the people we've seen so far has been good. Um, I feel like certain superstars always give good performances, like John Cena and stuff. But I'm sure we'll see some uh, some rough ones here. <laughs> so I always find it funny if there's like actual like wrestlers or commentators that don't give good performances. Like your job, literally on TV, is you do this stuff with microphones and stuff. If you're phoning in, that's kind of lame. <laughs> I mean, I could excuse like, uh, you know, like NBA players or stuff with their voiceover and like those career modes because they, they don't do that. They just there to play. But you're, you're a performer in WWE, so you should be giving a good effort. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to another sold out Raw event from Portland, Oregon. Well, Portland, it's been too Oregon. Long since Raw has come to Portland, JR. This is a These fake title match. I'm not even introducing the title. <laughs> Chopping him down. Ooh, here we go. We're working, brother. And by the way, you also notice um, the initial grapples do damage as well. The strong grapples, so. Edge clothesline. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> oh, educator? This animation though is cool. Yep. <sighs> Cinch it in. It's long, though. I'm a good guy, but I'm not letting go. <laughs> Actually, I shall let go. I was going to use a lot of stamina. 
You can't let your opponent build this kind yeah, of Yeah, like I'm already like half gone stamina. You're not going to get him with that. Oh no. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Don't make me bust out the environmental grapples. I'll do it. Still a bunch we haven't seen yet. Well, from the Ooh, looks of things, boy. it's not hard to tell how this one's going to go. What are you talking about, King? I think this is still an extreme... Man, that elbow smash is so fast. That, that's like probably top tier for like it's interrupting grapple moves. The exercise you get is stretching the truth or jumping to conclusions. Well, judging from the shape I'm in... Oh, the quick grapples that I got. Nice headlock takedown. You're looking pretty good. Yeah, we're actually working here. It's a good match. <laughs> Think he's doing? Oh no, stop. Just Don't you dare put the sharpshooter on me. No! <laughs> I can't believe this. Uh, let's see if I can outmatch the legend computer. I'm hanging in there. Mash! Mash those potatoes. My back! Right, finally reverse the strike here. I feel like I've been... Oh, okay. Sean Michaels is crazy. He's got that high technical stat. Sean Michaels keep calling himself the heartbreak kid. Okay, he's probably got a finisher now. Oh, no. Get up. I need to get up. I'm sorely tempted to say something about the pot and the candles. But instead... Oh, I got a reverse. No! <laughs> Sorry, Chan Music got hit with our first finisher of the playthrough. I don't want to get yellow cheese here. I'm not sure I agree with what the crowd is chasing. saw that one coming. Oh, they acted like I reversed, but I didn't. Oh, he's not even going for the pin. I didn't even get a yellow head off that. Yeah, I'm getting worked by Sean here. Maybe he was right the whole time about uh, being the true number one contender. All right, can you stop? Right. Okay, I also got him yellow hair. Oh, that was weird. You're always trying to kiss up to the fans by talking up whoever they're cheering for. I've never been a kiss up in my life. Kiss up in my life, brother. More than I can say for some I call him like I see him. Tori, are you watching this, Tori? That the WWE fans agree with me as often as they Yep. How much more of this I can say to JR? You don't need to be a guy. Oh, I got I got a heal move. I need to turn heal. Because look at that actually decreased my momentum. Get him out of here. All right, this is a good way to get momentum. Yep. I missed. Right, that's it. It's time for an environmental grapple. Environmental grapples. Yep. It's a good way to rip off the uh, announce table. Of course, choke with the cable. The ultimate opportunity. Look at this. Well, someone stopped the damn match. So also, a fun fact about the animation, that actually, that animation gets removed in the next year's game, as 8 and actually one of the developers on Twitter revealed that uh, the reason why they had to remove it is because of, you know, of course, the Benoit incident. This is Benoit's last WWE game, um, before he was gone. So, of course, I'm sure, I'm not going to talk about that that, that that much, but I'm sure you know why that had to be removed. All right, come here. You know, I'm going to do another environmental grapple. Ultimate opportunist. Use your environment to your advantage. Slam into the steps. <laughs> yeah, so you can see why this is so cheesy. <laughs> oh, actually, I think I just realized something. Yeah, those you can reverse. Um, the environmental ones, I think most of them you can reverse. It's the uh, ultimate control moves you cannot reverse. Oh, I'm orange. Jesus. Yeah, it's it's the uh, ultimate control moves you need to finish it for. I think I misspoke earlier. Yeah, because there's the ten punch you can. Oh no, ten punch you can reverse. I think this one you can reverse too when he does the overhand chop. He's wasting his stamina. I'm not sure I agree with this. Wow, he wasted so much stamina there. Okay, I could do a possum pin too if I want to. I wouldn't even hazard to guess. Oh! <laughs> the animation was cool. Is this a real submission? It is. Oh, he's almost got a finisher. Oh, he's got a finisher. He's got no stamina, though. Whoa. <laughs> you can see that uh, robo noise was removed from this game. Alright, we're gonna try to waste this finisher at the environmental grapple. So you can see, I could just stay here and not press anything. Oh no! <laughs> that would be the smart play to get him to waste his finisher, but I'm not going to do that. It kind of feels like cheating. 
DDT. Spear! Alright, I'm going for it. Hopefully this is it. He could hit me with the possum pin though, and then I'd probably lose, so we'll see what happens. Spear! 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 <laughs> Cancel the animation. Cover! Edge gets the win. My god, that was a good match. <laughs> It was exactly 5 minutes and 55 seconds, it said. 5-5-5. Five, five, five. Booker T is proud of me. But the question is, what is going to happen, folks? We're about to find out. You think you know it. What? <laughs> the animation was shorter than the dialogues. I didn't get to hear all of it. I got scanned. Alright, there you go. So I'm gonna go ahead and save. I believe that's the end of that storyline. Oh, yeah. I thought it was saving for some reason. Forgot to ask you if you want to override. Right, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the end. If it's not, obviously I'm gonna cut back. All right, so blockhead move. The storyline is not over. <laughs> I was looking at the strategy guy, and I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, this ends at WrestleMania, doesn't it? So we're clearly not done. So let's move on. <laughs> to the power of editing, though. It's all right. We didn't miss anything. <laughs> Imagine if I just would have walked away. Though I'm definitely gonna be recording more in this session I'm doing, but yeah, we're all right. Well. Big surprise. Last week, the showstopper got his big chance and got stopped. Damn. So now it's time for whoever the hell makes the decisions around here to recognize that I'm the only superstar who deserves a title shot at WrestleMania. Oh, she's back. <laughs> and she's furious. <laughs> Cena, we've been through this already. You had your chance and you blew it. What? Because I messed around with Tori Wilson? Is that what this is about? Man, I'd kick it to the curb in a second for a chance at the WWE title. <laughs> oh, really? Well, in that case... Before you two get all worked up out here, I just wanted to remind you that I've got a rematch clause in my contract, and I'm planning on exercising it later this month at WrestleMania. Come on, man. After getting your ass beat last week, you don't believe that Stephanie is stupid enough to put you in the main event at WrestleMania. Excuse me? I'll give you a number one contender match right here tonight against the WWE Champion. Wait a minute. And Shawn Michaels will be the guest referee. If you win, Cena, you're the number one contender. But if you lose, Shawn Michaels goes to WrestleMania for <laughs> Look at him. A number one contender match tonight between John Cena, the champion, with Shawn Michaels as the special referee. As a special referee? Alright, well, th will the streak continue as Edge? I wonder what Tori's reaction was to seeing a drop in that line. You kick her the curb for a second. You send me an email apologizing? Or a message? Oh my god, yeah. What's in the HBK? as special referee tonight and as much as I'd like to see Cena lose I'm gonna call this one right down the middle so you're gonna have to bring your A game unless you think Cena actually deserves a shot at your title but if you can pin Cena one two three it'll be you versus the heartbreak kid at Wrestlemania not gonna lie, I kind of wish I was the referee and then I could just call it down the middle because now it's kind of like I can actually like determine who I want to face. So it might be Sean if I just win, you know. From Tori Wilson. Hi. I bet you were expecting to hear from me like this, but things have changed recently and now I'm confused about a lot of stuff. I'm not sure I made the right decision a few weeks ago. John has changed since he lost his title opportunity. He's not the same guy I fell for it in two weeks. 
<laughs> and now I'm wondering which one is the real John Cena. Anyway, I hope you write back and hope you can catch up a little. Maybe go get a cup of coffee or something. Chloe and I miss you, Tori. Get out of here. <laughs> get her out of here. Absolutely not. All right, I'm thinking in the next episode we'll customize our locker room to cash we have. We'll just keep going for now. Ooh, wait a minute. I could use the multiplayer feature to play as Shawn Michaels. Nah, let's not do that. Let's just... Because this is an Edge playthrough. The Edge is right there. He's looking at me. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is... Uh, we're playing this normal. That That's tempting, though. But I'm not going to do that for the main playthrough. We're going to play as our character. HBK. Special referee HBK blowing up the arena. Right, we'll go ahead and skip. We'll skip these entrances for this uh, raw here. I've seen all of these. We'll we'll hear the dialogue though, and we'll skip them. Who this man? Not gonna lie, I kind of prefer to face Cena because I feel like that's kind of the better option. Not not in terms of like difficulty, but like storyline wise. Um, but I'm just gonna play normal, and then whatever happens, happens. Right. Tori's crying backstage, and I don't care. I'm ready to go. I'm all about championships, all right? Edge. No dialogue for Edge. <laughs> I guess not, because we had the announcer. Yeah. <laughs> All right, special referee match. Don't you miss this, guys? <laughs> Remember when that one game and it got removed and it's like never been back since? <laughs> Actually, no, it did come back, I think, and then it went away again, didn't it? <laughs> All right, playing possum. Yeah, so this is interesting. You hold A and then counter. Sometimes I accidentally do that if I'm mashing to try to get up. So I'll try not to do that. I don't want to waste the finisher. Welcome to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the site of tonight's live Raw event. And Pittsburgh has gone completely crazy for the superstars of Raw. And who can blame them? We're back in no Pittsburgh man. already. Weren't we just the here? The city's in for our treat tonight, and I can't wait to get started. Right. Once again, just walk away from Cena strikes. <laughs> right, let's try a strong grapple. Different direction this time. Yeah, it got reversed. <laughs> HBK's watching on. There we go. I'm doing edge things now. House of fire, brother. Yeah. Cinch it in. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. <laughs> you can go to WrestleMania right now. Ring the bell. How do I already have a finisher? This is my strong grab. Oh, no. He's also got a strong grab. though with them reversals. I think I know who's gonna win this one, JR. Oh, really? Yeah, give me that reversal like damage. Wait a second. Why are you so eager to hear my prediction? Because I yep. want to know who's gonna win. And nine times out of ten... Right, Sean, get out of the way, please. <laughs> Sounds like this Unbelievable, Cena. And it was on top of the world. Can he capitalize on it? What a reversal. What a Paul Burchill. I'm chopping away. Oh, we don't want to get DQ. Oh, no. <laughs> Look at Shawn Michaels. Look at Shawn Michaels. Has so much in his career, but the 
Actually, it would be pretty funny if we got DQ. Then we actually get to face uh, Cena at WrestleMania. Right, I'm not gonna hold on to that. I need stamina back. Toronto. Oh no. Oh God. I mean, with Sean keep uh, with him keep getting in the way here, it might end in a DQ. You never know. Oh, I did a strike. Wasn't expecting that. It didn't even knock me down though. What the heck is a government mule anyway? I have a submission strong grapple? Yeah, I got reversed. <laughs> but I'm gonna reverse that reversal, brother. Yeah. It's not a submission. Yeah, we're chain wrestling here. <laughs> it's so easy to reverse those, though. What? I thought I did a different direction. <laughs> Targeting the head. Running DDT. I know I'm a face, but I'm taking off the turnbuckle pad. I don't care. So I want to do the environmental grapple where you hit him into that. It could backfire though. It looks like they've slowed the match down right, come here. There we go. Go and yell at me, Sean. I don't care. Oh God. Oh no. <laughs> It will Sean ring the bell. I think it was in the uh, WWE 13 when they brought back special referee, but they actually like improved it, where like you can do like a screw job and stuff, and you can get kicked out if you're too uh, one-sided and stuff like that. That was cool. All right, advanced tactics: the Irish whip, regain your own stamina while simultaneously wasting their stamina. That's big advanced plays here. And then you go for the spear and get reversed. Rip. <laughs> that was completely an accident. <laughs> oh no. Will we get DQ? Tina's almost got a finisher too. But big reversal from Edge. Flip over into Bulldog. Very nice. Oh, he's out. Oh, you know what? It's time for some little, little blood. Oh no. No one's bled yet. I don't think in the playthrough. Come on, turn around. Block. <laughs> Come on, I need to land the animation. There we go, finally. By the way, advanced tip there. If you're having a situation where the camera zooms in and you're trying to move towards somebody, but you know, you're kind of thrown off because of uh, the camera angle, just press neutral run, you'll run towards whoever you're targeting. There we go. Point at the WrestleMania sign. Let's just pretend it's there. Cover! Looks like we're getting a rematch against Mr. WrestleMania at WrestleMania, folks. No, this is no post-match animation, I guess. It's playing the song. Money in the bank. Oh, no. There it is. Never mind. Why was the title wedged in the corner like that? Oh no, Cena! Oh God! Did you see that? He's done. That's from the streets. I saw Shawn Michaels take a proverbial bullet for the WWE Champion. HBK is out like a light. I think we're gonna need some medical attention out here. He's done. Shawn Michaels just sacrificed himself to save the WWE Champion from a vicious chair shot from John Cena, but at what cost? Good guy, Sean, coming through, but is he able to compete, guys? I don't know. Took a bullet for us, guys. Money in the Bank playing once again. <laughs> By the way, I always thought, in my opinion, the only reason the song's in the game is because uh, the Money in the Bank match was introduced in this game. <laughs> I feel like that's the only reason they put it in. I mean, I like the song, but I just, that was my opinion on it. Chavo. What's up, man? It's Chavo Guerrero. Looks like the two of us have a match tonight, Holmes. I know the title's not on the line, but you still better be ready because if I beat you tonight, maybe I'll be the number one contender. Speaking of the title, looks like you're going to have your hands full with John Cena at WrestleMania. I'm glad I don't have to deal with that guy. He's gone totally loco lately. If I were you, I'd watch my back. Adios. Another match against Chavo. Chavo, I don't think you and the script getting a title match is uh, there, but... 
We'll see. What's your market value? Let me know. All right, WWE.com. HBK injured. Cena named number one contender. WWE.com regrets the report that the chair shot inflicted by Cena last week resulted in serious injuries to HBK, including a grade two concussion and a minor skull trauma. In the best case scenario, he's not expected to be medically clear for action for at least four to six weeks. That means he will not be competing for the WWE title at WrestleMania. Had Michaels not pulled Cena, Cena's intended target, the WWE champion Edge out of the way, it's likely that Edge would have suffered these same injuries. Ironically, the man who responsible for injuring Michaels might be the same man who takes his spot at WrestleMania. I don't want to reward John Cena's behavior, says Stephanie McMahon, but he's the only Raw superstar not currently scheduled for a WrestleMania match who is a legitimate contender for the title. Cena is also a former WWE Champion, and the personal rivalry between him and the WWE Champion ensures a competitive match, one the fans are longing to see. It's not the first time Stephanie has named Cena the number one contender, but Cena vows that this time will be different from the last. It's a whole new ball game, says Cena. I ain't gonna be distracted by trailer trash like Tori Wilson. And I ain't gonna be the friendly rapper who sells foam fingers to inbred hicks. Jesus. I'm coming straight out of the streets. You can ask HBK all about that because you got a taste of it last week. Oh, these articles are great. <laughs> I'm still waiting to see what everyone's opinion on uh, them is though. I think they're funny and I like reading them, but I'm, I'm sure there's some people that don't like me reading them in the playthrough. I don't know. We'll see. All right, so we're facing Chavo here. Just, just because we need, uh, we need some filler, I guess. <laughs> Got money in the bank. I need to spend that on my locker room customization, brother. Ooh, ooh, the streets. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring. From El Paso, Texas, weighing 200 pounds, Chavo Guerrero. Ooh, Chavo. <laughs> All right, so there's no commentary dialogue here. And so we'll watch it though, because we haven't seen Chavo's entrance in the playthrough yet. So go, ooh, Chavo's in the crowd. <laughs> Let's put over Chavo clean. <laughs> What's Chavo's market value? That's what I want to know. It's S rating. Dude, Chavo's theme is legendary though. Yo, Cena went off in that article, though. He really is back to the streets. <laughs> Tori's just getting destroyed here, too. She's made, making to be looked like a fool. Fans probably hate her. Oh, no. Gotta get some catering. Stop! <laughs> My God! John Cena just attacked the WWE Champion on his way to the ring! Jesus! Cena said he was going back to his street roots. And this looks like street fighting. Dude. One. Come on, punk. Come get some. <laughs> Get off of me. Shelton. We need some help back here. Help! Help! Shelton, you're the worst help ever, man. Do something. Give him a German right it's now. A good thing for the champ, Shelton Benjamin showed up, but I don't think he's in any shape to compete after that. I'm all right. I'm all right. Why is there a SmackDown referee on Raw? Would you look at this? <laughs> The champion is refusing assistance. I think he still intends to go out there and compete. There's a Patrick getting some catering. Tough and stupid, Jr. And I think the champ just crossed it. Oh, actually, the probably the explanation why Nick Patrick's in that scene instead of Mike Kyoto is because Kyoto would be in the ring, right? Because Chavo just came out. That's probably why. Because it wouldn't make sense for him to be back there, I guess. So my criticism is not valid. All right. Got punched in the face by John Cena with a chain. I cannot believe that this man still plans to face Chavo Guerrero just moments after getting oh, in It's all good. John Cena well, he was hit in the head, so he's probably not thinking straight. Why else would he get in the ring now in his condition with his title defense at WrestleMania less than two weeks away? The rated R superstar. All right. Man, the streets John Cena is overpowered, guys. <laughs> 
<laughs> By the way, it's kind of funny because like Benjamin was staying there for like a good 10 seconds before he actually did anything. <laughs> oh man. All right, so I believe I will. I'll oh, pro reversal tips. <laughs> I believe I'm going to start with some damage here. Me and Jerry the King Lawler, we welcome you to Raw Action live from Chicago. The Raw Super Chicago, let's go. Yeah, only a yellow head though. That's not bad. I'm going crazy. I've snapped. Cena, you watching this? Edge Matic. Stop. <laughs> Delay grapples, advanced tactics from the AI. I, I respect that. You're seeing it right here. Yeah. Well, somebody better put out that fire. Or this one's next. I don't know how that missed, but I'm glad it did. But Chavo is going crazy. I shouldn't have been making fun of him. Right, get off me. Did you ever think you'd be watching how about a running bulldog? Alright, you know what we haven't done? Going to the top row. Let's see if I have that diving spear. I'm yelling at him. Get up. Oh, I missed. <laughs> I mean, while we're a good guy, I might as well take advantage of it, right? Damn, it's really low, though. After some chain wrestling, though. Question is, am I going to bust out ultimate control moves soon or not? Okay, I need to stamina back. I'm going to store that finisher. I'm not going to use it just quite yet. Oh, he also did a delayed strike, but I was ready. Yo, Chavo's actually crazy. Oh, with the weight detection cheese. So I wasn't a, I wasn't a fan of the weight. I'm not a fan of weight detection in general. I think it's kind of annoying sometimes. Especially like in the rumble where you can just punch somebody out. Oh, he's almost got a finisher. We got to watch out. I take it home with the execution this time instead of the spear. So, how do you think this one's gonna turn out, JR? Honestly, King, I have absolutely no idea. Oh, he's so Anything close to a finisher. I'm going for it. Is Chavo gonna hand me my first loss? I really hope not. Alright, come here. I'm wasting your finisher, brother. Oh no! He's in a story, isn't he? Yep. Alright, get off me. Their paycheck. Oh no. Oh, Kyoto, get out of the way. Oh, that could have been sick if he would have. Oh, wait. Can he do a finisher after this? Gory special or no? Ooh, got that headache, brother. That sucks. I missed. How did I miss that heel kick? <laughs> Crimson mask. All right, time for another environmental grapple. I don't care that in my face. Yeah. Blah, blah. All right, gotta release that. I have like no stamina. Oh, Chavo's out, brother. No, he's not. Oh, he's gonna waste my stamina. That's actually smart. Oh, he's doing the. Oh, I'm about to collapse. <laughs> Where's the 06 Robo noise? Ooh, that was a big reversal, I must say. I need just enough to do my finisher. Enough. Execution! My god. Cover! That's gotta be it. Cena, are you watching? Are you watching? Tori, are you watching? HPK, are you watching from the hospital? <laughs> I'm sorry, medical facility. Are you watching from the medical facility? Is Stephanie watching? Is everyone watching? I'm ready to go, alright? Is Davari watching? <laughs> you think you know. Edge win animation, let's go. Seize the opportunity. Edge streak continues. I right, yell at him. <laughs> hey, wait a minute, didn't I bust him open? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> oh, Mr.
Right, check our phone. Tori, oh my god, here we go again. Oh my god, are you okay? I saw what John Cena did to you tonight, and I couldn't believe it. Look, I didn't want to admit it, but I think I made a huge mistake when I chose him over you. He's been a big jerk ever since he lost his title opportunity. I think he was just using me to get to you. Anyway, I think you've got no reason to take me back, but I really hope you'll think about it. You're the only man for me, and I see that now. Call me soon, please. <laughs> All right, so this is what we can interact with. Let's see what we got. Do you choose to forgive Tori Wilson and take her back? Sounds like Tori's learned a lesson. Let's face it, I'd be crazy not to take her back. I'm going to give her a call and see what she's doing tonight. Or, gee, too bad for Tori, but she had a chance with me, and she blew it. I was going to... I was gonna have to drop her sometime anyway. May as well be now. She can stick with Cena forever for all I care. You know what? I'm choosing that. I don't care. Get her out of here. I'm calling up Lita right now. <laughs> Man, the Tori Slanger in this game is real. You know what? I'm, I'm participating in it, apparently, not taking her back. <laughs> Hey, just remember one thing here. If you disagree with my decision, remember she said that it was my fault that she was uh, with John Cena in Steph's office. She actually said that. Oh no, here we go again. Hey jerk. You know what? I'm glad you said you don't want anything to do with me. I don't know what I was thinking offering to give a loser like you another chance. I guess I just got sentimental when I saw a real man, John Cena, lay you out with that chain last week. <laughs> Luckily, I came to my senses and I'm sticking with him. And I can't wait until he beats you this Sunday for the WWE title. All right, get out of here. Don't ever contact me again. All right, from Stephanie to Edge. Edge, I'm putting you and Cena in the ring tonight for a special non-title WrestleMania preview. Usually I wouldn't want to give away a match like this before the big event, but after what he did to you last week, I think you would uh, don't want to wait until this Sunday to get your hands on him. Also, I've decided that your WrestleMania match will be a last man standing match to settle the score once and for all. So consider tonight's match our warm-up for Sunday. Good luck out there. Oh, boy. What does WWE.com have to say about these developments? One exclusive Tori Wilson interview. <laughs> HBK vows re retribution on Cena. In his first interview since being injured by a chair shot from Cena two weeks ago, HBK says that he's recovering faster than doctors predicted, and he can't wait for a full medical clearance to return to the ring and ex exact vengeance on Cena. <laughs> Not a rascal man, says HBK, but what Cena did goes beyond the bounds of the usual hard knocks you're expected to take in this business. I've been hit by a lot of guys over the years, but no one's ever caused me to miss a WrestleMania main event, and Cena's gonna have have to answer for that as soon as I'm able to come back, whether he's champion or not. Strong words there from the heartbreak kid. Strong words from Toy. Strong words all around. I'm out of here though. <laughs> We have a last man standing match against John Cena at WrestleMania, but we also have a little bit of a preview here. He's got Tori now, though. <laughs> and he's got loading screen advantage. Oh, no. <laughs> what am I supposed to do about that? But so does Chris Masters, but he's not even here in this storyline, so it's all right. Yeah, boo him. Boo him and Tori. Unbelievable. <laughs> if only there was a way I could actually get Lita to come out of me, that'd be great, but <laughs> it's not happening. I could send a message here and just get myself DQ'd, but I think our first loss has to come from something legit. Yeah, let him hate. You know, earlier when I uh, first thought I was going to end the video because the storyline was over, I think what, I was, what I'm realizing is this is a two-month storyline. 
So I finished the first section and now I'm in the second half. I think I'm gonna keep it one video though, even though it's two months. True, including me, even though the crowd's cheering me. <laughs> I'm the ultimate opportunist. I'm skipping my entrance. We'll watch him at the, uh, the pay-per-view. There's Chavo. <laughs> Chavo thought he was going to get a win, be number 10. That's not happening, brother. <laughs> I'm sorry, my man. It's not happening. All right, performing finishing moves. Good old JR Jim Ross here with Jerry the King Lawler welcoming you to Raw live from Los Angeles, California. I love this town, JR. And I hope I get a chance to audition some young starlets later. Boy, you just never stop, do you, King? You but never stop. I'm looking forward to tonight's show. I think it's going to be a real barn burn. It's the strike fest, so I'm going to keep it going. He reversed it. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> Right, this man doesn't have the chain though, we're alright. Get up, Edge. Edge clothesline. <laughs> edge clothesline. Followed up, Edge combos! Right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, brother, hold on! Okay, this is a strike fest, I'm all for it too! I'm gonna do this cheesy kick thing. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I don't know, that move is just always funny to me. There we go. Kicks, brother. Oh, no! Animation's cool. There we go. Wrench it in! Minor leagues, brother. All right, get him out of here. All right, we're going to try a running, uh, running dive here as soon as he gets up. Enlighten us, King. Wait a second. Come on, get up. Why are you so eager to hear my got my edge fighting stance here. Oh my god, what? <laughs> I still hit it. <laughs> I'm going to store this. Use it for later. Put that finisher in the fridge. Oh no, Tor stop. Stop! Oh god, this is a mistake coming out here. I was going to try to throw in the crowd. I believe you can also hard Irish whip to get someone. Oh, no. Oh, my God. My, is my first loss going to become because of Tori? Stop. Get out. Yeah, there you go. Strong Irish whip to get him in there. Yeah, I think he's going to go for another strike. Nope, I got fooled. <laughs> Saint is fired up. My back! After some of the things we've seen in this ring, JR, I think we'd better remind the folks at home not to try this stuff themselves. Right, can That's I get my strong kill us up? I'm gonna let go, I'm let go. Superstars are playing profession, and even they don't walk away from every match in the best shape. They How about a fake spear? <laughs> a combo up. There we go, that moves pretty good, but I think it's a heel move, so I'm gonna lose momentum. You talk about ruthless aggression. Ruthless aggression. <laughs> this is the streets, John Cena. <laughs> I guess one good thing is when we get that last man standing, we'll be able to use the crowd area. Oh god, we're tied here in terms of damage. I mean, I got one finisher though. A lot of running. DDT. Right, I want my I want my diving spear. Get up. I want the full connection on the animation, brother. Oh mistake. Big mistake, Tony. <laughs> Mistakes were made. But it's been pretty obvious since the start of the show who you're pulling for. I'm trying to remain as I need you out of the way, my man. Kyoto, my man. <laughs> it arm wrench is the greatest move of all time. It should be able to follow up with a spinning heel kick here. Yep. 
One of those fake combo maneuvers, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god, I could steal his finisher. Should I, should I send a message by trying to steal it? <laughs> if he reverses, though, that's two finishers down the drain. Oh! <laughs> Fake edge combos. I'm gonna go for the spear. Spear! Spear! Tori might distract the ref though. We'll see what happens. Yeah, give me credit here. Spear! He's red as well. I'm gonna do the full animation too. I'm pointing at Tori. Did you see that? Cover! No distraction from Tori. Okay, interesting. Did you change your mind again? <laughs> Flip flop again? Am I gonna get another message? <laughs> Hopefully not. You think you know Yeah! <laughs> well, King, we've just seen a Stop. <laughs> she really did flip flop again. And it looks like Raw's got one hell of a main event. <laughs> what? <No. laughs> That's Cena face. Oh, I'm done. <laughs> that Cena face was legendary, dude. Alright, what, what is this camera work now? What, come on now. Oh, Sean's back. Sweet chin music. True. Get him out of here. Despite all of John Cena's worst efforts, the champ is still standing. Thanks to the heartbreak kid. But can he prevail this Sunday at WrestleMania? He can he retain the yeah. WWE <laughs> title against a man who will stop at nothing to take him? Oh my god, that John Cena face is one of the greatest things I've ever seen in my life. Oh, Tori's already gone. What? Cena was there, though. I thought she was helping him in the back. Oh, yeah, I should mention, I think I talked about this in my 06 playthrough, but um, the the cutscenes in this game are way better than 06. The moves actually look good, and unlike 06, where they look just absolutely goofy most of the time. HBK. Hey, it's the Heartbreak Kid. Look, the icon has headlined plenty of WrestleManias, and I know exactly what's going through your head right now. You're feeling the pressure. You're feeling the weight of expectation pressing down on you. All I have to say is this. When your music hits, just let it go. You made it this far for a reason. And that's because you're the best. Present company accepted, of course. Anyway, you're going to put that punk John Cena in his place once and for all. I'll be enjoying every minute of it. Good luck, champ. Good guy, HBK. What does WWE.com have to say about this situation? Edge Cena headline WrestleMania, which is hours to go before the biggest WrestleMania in history. WWE.com has caught up with John Cena, the challenger for Edge's WWE title. Cena has proven himself to be utterly merciless, making three consecutive attempts on Edge's health in the last three weeks. But the question remains, has he inflicted enough damage to give himself the advantage in their championship match tonight? Advantages? I don't need no stinking advantages, Cena says. You talk to me like I'm the underdog or something. Yo, when HBK ain't around to watch Edge's back, Edge has got nothing on me. He can't see me. And according to Stephanie McMahon, Shawn Michaels will not in fact be in Edge's corner, nor will Tori Wilson be allowed to accompany Cena to the ring. This is the last man standing match for the WWE Championship at WrestleMania. Edge and Cena are allowed to do whatever they want to each other, but for the sake of Raw and the integrity of my family's name, I guarantee there will not be any outside interference in this match. All right, coming face to face with Cena, WrestleMania. I'm rich. I got a lot of cash. <laughs> Kali's upset. It's time to go in the crowd as well. It's gonna be fun. Last man standing. Welcome to WrestleMania. We'll watch the entrances. This is gonna be big. That's right. Our first episode of right WrestleMania. I guess that's what we get for playing the storyline. Yeah, boo him. Ladies boo this man. This is it. The main event of WrestleMania. The granddaddy of them all. The WWE title is on the line. And it doesn't get any bigger than this. And they don't get any better than 
John Cena. I know people have given Cena a lot of grief for the way he's changed his attitude over the last month or so, but you can't argue with the results. He went from being a regular guy everyone liked all the way to a title match at WrestleMania. And tonight, he's going to become the WWE Champion. I just know. No, I'm not letting that happen. <laughs> Soldier. I'm, I'm probably gonna go straight to the crowd, man. I'm not messing around with all this stuff Cena did to me. Turnabout's fair play, guys. Hope Tori's watching in the back. <laughs> Dude, that Cena face is one of the funniest things I've seen like all week. That made my day. <laughs> we need a screenshot of that. I think what made it so funny is like he was like dead still, like didn't move or I don't even think he blinked. Like, <laughs> and like the camera work was legendary, zooming in on his face like that. You think you know? All right, here we go. I'm ready to go, brother. I'm going to the crowd. Big time. WrestleMania 22. Here we go. Need that big time song to start playing. <laughs> Let's spin the title right in front of Cena. Alright, if I win, I get uh, I get to send a message to Lita. Alright, this is it, man. This is a good way to end the, the first storyline by doing the crowd fighting, I think. But yeah, I'm definitely going to keep it like video storyline. So if the storyline's two months, you'll get both months in one video. That's how I'm going to do it. I think it's a better idea. Right, here we go. Cena Edge. Long time rivals. Right, come here. Oh. What a counter! Alright, I wasn't lying. I'm going to the crowd. Yep. Okay, I tried to do the vaulting body press, but. Uh. Okay, why am I? Okay, you know what? Okay, screw it. Edge! On <laughs> the knees after all that. After all those missed timings. Back! Okay, wasted some stamina with that vaulting body press situation. I'm coming in. Everyone out of my way. Where's my beta light tubes? All right, give me this chair. I'm not messing around. After what Cena did to me. Woo. After what this man did to me. This is deserved. And it's funny, if you play the uh, PS2 version, there's a glitch with the commentary where they think they're doing the Stone Cold Stunner when you hit him with the chair. I remember playing that as a kid and being so disappointed. Give him this trash can. Yep. No, I'm just not messing around this match. How did that miss? Are we, I'll take the stamina back, alright. I actually don't know what he's doing. I guess I got a free taunt in? Is <laughs> he having second thought? I already got him yellow here in a minute. Come here. <laughs> Good. We gotta show off those new features, Cena. Oh, this trash can sucks. It's so slow. Oh no, he's gonna do environmental grapples on me. Oh no, not good. See if I can reverse. Oh no, that's just a regular thing. You know, I got one better for you, Cena. Oh my god. It's not done. <laughs> Edge has snapped. 
After everything this man put me through. That's right. Execution. Yeah, so if you're a face, you hold up the sign. If you're a heel, you rip. See, he's out of here. Excuse me? Not done, my man. I got new features to show off, brother. All right, so there's a table here you can clear off. I think I already did this in the video, but also those tables over there are like a spawn point to grab more tables, so it's pretty cool. Oh no! <laughs> well, from the looks of things, it's not hard to tell how this one's gonna right, go. Come here. What are you talking about, King? I think this is still an extremely competitive match that could go either way. Oh, there was a title there. Right, I guess we're gonna do this. Oh God! Someone slap him. <laughs> Only John Cena's father was in the crowd. WWE fans. Could do a table finisher, or I could I could be a little crazy here. And just climbing the scaffold. Now, I'm here to prove a point to Cena after what he did to me. You're not trying to say that I'm old, are you? Of course not. Then you get this cool camera angle. Edge! Fuck yeah! Alright, come here. I don't think that was ever meant to be used like that. Come on, Jay. There's a cane right there. Everything in WWE is meant to be used like that. And some of these weapons are super slow. Come on, I'm not leaving this area. I'm sending a message, Cena. I don't care if my finisher expires. It's all right. So I want to do this. Oh, I missed. I want to do the thing where you spray him, but I keep missing. There we go. <laughs> Give me those particle effects. All right, come here. Oh, I was going for the execution. Oh, no. That's what I was going to do next. Oh, no. This is personal. What incredible athletes these WWE superstars really are. You've got My to knee. some excellent conditioning. John Cena sign. Do what they do. Well, that's the name of the game, JR. You gotta keep moving. No dog ever peed on a moving car. Oh, that's a lovely image, King. Alright, come here. I'd ask you where you come up with this stuff, but I don't think I want to know. Oh, God. Got a let's go edge shank going on. I think I know who's gonna win this one, JR. Enlighten us, King. Wait a second. Why are you so eager to hear my prediction? I want because that cane. I want, I want that cane. Hold on. Hold on to that. Nine times out of ten, it's not the super oh, is this not the game where you can drag him into the weapon? Maybe that's the next game. And let me tell you, you can grab it if you go over and press A. I know that much. Alright, give me this crutch. I'll give it to Cena after the match. He's going to need it. So, JR, are you enjoying the match so far? Yes, I am. I think these superstars are How did that miss? <laughs> there we go. That's a way better animation. It's certainly being put to good use. It sure is. I wonder if the manufacturer ever thought it would be used like that. What is my table finisher? Probably just the DDT or something. You got to respect the commitment and the dedication of these superstars. Get them up. No question about it, King. Every DDT. Oh my gosh. He just drove his opponent straight through that table. All right, you know what? Get him up. No, I was going for execution. That would have been clutch. That would have been a nice finish. DD. Oh, I guess we need some blood in here. That's it. Come here. This is it. It's over. Oh, what? Oh, let's go. Edge chant going on. Try again. Execution! By God. Alright, I'm out of here. I feel like he's gonna get up for some reason, but. And by the way, I should mention if only one person's in the crowd fighting area, the fans will not hold up stuff for you to grab. Right, I'm grabbing the wrong title and I'm leaving. That's the title I came up with. <laughs> I'm out of here. Edge has won. He's running away. <laughs> there you go. Message sent. That was uh, that was some carnage in the fighting area. 
I don't think I did everything you could do there, but... If we can turn heel, we can rip his side. Oh my god, that pyro was so loud! I couldn't even hear King over it. We just blew up the rest of the WrestleMania arena. Cena going back to the streets. Congratulations! WrestleMania trophy unlocked. We unlocked the WrestleMania 22 arena, and in the shop we can we got the Immortals package, which I think is the Rock and Hogan, which is pretty big way to start off the playthrough, I must say. Super crazy is that is excited about it. Check out WWE Magazine, then that's gonna be the end of this first part. It's gonna be a long video though, because of all the talking I did. Pumped out! <laughs> a WrestleMania to remember. Every Raw superstar knows that WrestleMania is the greatest sports entertainment event of the year. It is a venue where, uh, put quite simply, careers are made and superstars transcend to legends. And this year was no exception. In a last man standing match for the WWE Championship, Edge defeated John Cena, retained the title, and proved that no matter what the odds he had, the in internal fortitude to overcome that. He had the internal fortitude to overcome that. There we go, okay. <laughs> See that the rivalry were so more than a month before WrestleMania where Cena and Edge's now estranged girlfriend, Tori Wilson, were caught in what appeared to be a... a Morris moment together in Stephanie McMahon's own office. That incident cost Cena a normal contendership based on both in-ring skill and mass marketability. His WWE uh, title opportunity, however, Cena would soon return with a vengeance, and that can only be called a significant attitude adjustment. Wow, Cena had an attitude adjustment before an attitude adjustment. That's kind of crazy. Serious focus and deadly. Cena made three attempts on Edge's well-being and attempt attempted chair shot to injure a self-sacrificing HBK, a pre-match attack with a steel chain, and a post-match assault with the WWE Championship itself. Cena's one bad dude, says Edge. <laughs> There's no doubt, no doubt about it. That guy came from the streets, and he made it crystal clear that he doesn't give a damn about anyone or anything, but I proved to him and the entire locker room that you better bring a lot more than that into the ring against me. And if you even think you have a chance to take this WWE Championship from me, you better think again. All right, there you go. That's going to be the end of our first part, our first storyline, keeping it real as Edge. So I'm going to go ahead and save here. Hope you enjoyed. It's definitely going to be uh, the long first part. I think some storylines are only a month. I'll have to double check. I have the strategy guide to see how long they all are. Uh, but that was a two-month one, plus my beginning intro where I talked a lot. So it's going to be a long part. So hope you enjoyed, and I'll uh, see you in the next storyline.